Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing the newly extremely awakened Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks at rainbow status on the global side of the game. Now, before we get into the actual gameplay, I want to quickly go over his Extreme Z Awakening details, so if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute, okay? So, starting with his leader skill, it is Super Fizz Type to keep plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Extreme Fizz Types, E plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. He's got three different super attacks just like before. The first one is the 9 to 10 key, which causes immense damage and massively lowers the enemy's defense. And then we have the 11 key super, which is called Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball. And this one massively raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, and attacks effective against all types. So this, of course, is the best one out of the three. And uh, if you can, you want to consistently get that 11k super every single turn. And then for the 12k super, we have Life Risking Blow, which uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And from there, we have his new passive, which gives him attack and defense plus 150%, uh, plus an additional attack plus 70%, defense plus 30%, and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 7 turns from the start of the turn. And in terms of the links, they are the same as before. We got Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Aura in a Flash, uh, Limit Breaking Form, Innocence, Budding Warrior, and Fierce Battle. And as you can see, the links are for the most part level 1, and he has no skill orbs. Okay, so that is everything you need to know about the EZA Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks. And now we're going to jump into the original Legendary Goku event. We're running a Kamehameha slash Gifted Warriors team. And on this first turn, he's starting with 127,414 defense, which um, is respectable. It really is. I mean, it's not like a crazy defense stat. We've seen units that start with over 200,000. But compared to what this guy was before, which was essentially a glass cannon, because he had very, very poor defense, right? So to start off with this much defense and also have a medium chance to dodge, is uh is really good it's a really nice change now for the attack we're actually able to get the 11 key super which is awesome and we can give these guys a super as well and uh gohan is not gonna super but it's not gonna be a big deal either way because i'm pretty sure gotenks will one shot this goku okay so we're getting 4.9 million attack and there's a crit and goku is dead so, I would say that's pretty good. I, I, I would say that's pretty good. I mean, it's not 5 million, right? So maybe he's kind of trash. But, no, in all seriousness, you got 4.9 million, so close to 5 million. And also attacks effective against all. So, he's he hits really hard, guys. He hits really, really, really hard. And, you know, when we get to the end of this video, you know, once we die or whatever, once I decide to quit... Um, we'll talk about where he ranks among all of the, you know, easy A's in the game right now. And I can tell you right now, he's not the best. He's definitely not the best, but he probably has a good case to be top five at worst, top 10 at worst. I mean, for how hard he hits and for how good he is defensively, um, he's just an extremely, extremely impressive unit, honestly. Like, I have no real complaints about him. I guess the only complaint I have is the fact that his passive is conditional, or I guess conditional is the right word, but there's a turn limit on it, right? So after seven turns, got the dodge there, nice. After seven turns, he does lose a pretty significant chunk of the passive, which is unfortunate. So he's not actually going to be great for events like this. Obviously, you know, I'm taking him on the uh, Legendary Goku event just so we don't have to... Um, you know, it's just easier to showcase on this event because we don't have to like switch between fights and stuff like that. But um, I wouldn't actually recommend to bring the Gotenks on a longer event like this, like the Legendary Goku event, the GT version, um, you know, the... What else? Oh, Infinite Dragon Ball History and so on and so forth because... 
obviously he's not going to have that full passive for most of the event if it's going to go 10, 15, 20 turns. But if we're talking about something like a regular Dokkan event or especially Super Battle Road, I think he's very, very good for Super Battle Road, okay? Because, of course, seven turns is usually long enough for a full uh, phase of Super Battle Road, and his defense holds up, his dodging especially is going to be extra clutch, and his damage is high enough where he's going to help you, you know, clear out enemies very, very quickly. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say bring him on Super Battle Road and see what he can do. Uh, let's see, hold on. So for this turn, I guess we'll go with the 12 key super because we can't really do... Oh, hold on. Uh, oh, we can't do 11 key. Okay, so there we go. We've got the 11 key super there. Um, let's see. I want to make sure that the Goten and Trunks get their supers. So why don't we just give one key to him? And then that'll be a super for the Goten and Trunks. There we go. Okay, so that worked out. And let's see if we can get some dodges. Oh, no dodge, but still taking double digits uh, up to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And our attack stats about 4.3 million. Attacks effective. Oh, wow, my phone's dying. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. And yeah, oh wow, look at that. Okay, so the Super Saiyan 3 Goku taking 68k from normal. Forgot how bad his defense was, but... Yo, what is happening right now? All I did was plug in my phone, and then we lost signal. I think we're okay though. I'm gonna try to not touch the phone for the rest of the video, um, because clearly, you know, things are not super stable. But we're gonna continue and finish this thing out. Um, let's see, okay, so let's put this guy in the back. And I probably don't have to worry about, um, you know, defense or anything like that. Like, these guys have pretty good defense at this point. Yeah, over 200k each, so they're fine. But we probably want to heal up a bit, so let's actually give these AGL orbs to Goten. There we go. Now we'll give these to the Goten and Trunks. And maybe I should have popped the active skill. It doesn't really matter, I guess, because we're probably going to kill the Goku anyways. Yeah, he's probably dead. There we go. All right. So now we're on turn 7, and we're finally able to get uh, both supports here, which is really, really nice. And got 127,000 defense. Um, let me see something here. So it's 4 7 turns, right? So basically, after this turn, we are going to be losing that 70% additional attack, 30% additional defense, and also the medium chance to dodge. But for now, we still have it. And as you can see, we've been able to consistently get that 12k super every single turn, which um, obviously allows us to maximize his damage. If you can't get the 12k super, he's still going to be hitting pretty hard, but probably just not as hard, or definitely not as hard, actually. Okay, there we go. 2.4, got the additional. Not bad damage for normal. And... Uh, there you go, guys. That is the last turn of Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks' full passive. Um, the next time we do come around, he's going to be much less impressed. Oh, actually, we are maybe dead. I think we might be... Oh, we're still alive. We're still alive. Okay. Are we dead now? Oh, we're dead now. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I was kind of hoping we could do one turn with, uh, you know, Gotenks without... The second part of his passive but nonetheless i think at this point you guys have seen plenty um you know from this unit i think uh he's quite impressive although uh, he does lose some points for not having his full passive you know in longer events so um the fact that he's not going to be that useful in longer events i think hurts him quite a bit um I'm going to call him a top 10 EZA. I'm going to call him a top 10 EZA. I would probably put him somewhere in the range of like 6 or 7. Maybe 7 or 8. Because in my opinion, the best uh, EZA in the game is the Fizz Final Form Cooler. Okay, no question. To me, that is the best. And then we have, you know, the LR Goku and Frieza. We have the LR Broly. We have um, UI Goku as well. And I would probably put the... Hmm, let me think. 
outside of those ones, I mean, this guy might be right below the LRs and also the uh, Cooler and UI Goku. I'm probably forgetting somebody, so I'm just gonna put like two, you know, take up two slots for other units that I'm probably forgetting right now. I'm sure you got, oh, Fizz Vegito Blue. How can I forget? Fizz Vegito Blue definitely has to be above Gotenks on that list. But after that, I mean, Gotenks is probably six or seven. Um, very, very good easy. It hits extremely hard. I love the dodging. I love the defense. Um, but his defense could be better, I think. It's not, it's not amazing. It's just good. And um, it just sucks that he loses a big portion of that. He does lose that dodging, which can be so clutch, right? So, um, yeah, I think top 10 is very fair. Probably 7th, 8th, somewhere in that range. And uh, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Fizz, Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, Extreme Z Awakening. Where would you rank him on the list of EZAs in the game right now? Is he a top 5 for you? Is he a top 10? Is he a top 15, maybe? But uh, I'm very impressed with him, man. I really am. So there you go. Thank you guys once again for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out